I'm very upset. I really need to talk to you. I'm sticking to my diet, darling, so if you're looking for entomins, the cupboards are bare. No cookies? No Count Chocula? <laughs> no, nothing? I mean, I'm depressed, am I? I need some junk. Have some bread. I don't want bread. I need sweets. Have the bread. <laughs> Look at this, a Jewish pinata. <laughs> so what are you so upset about, darling? Oh, I had a big breakthrough in therapy, all about daddy. So what did that con artist tell you? <laughs> that everything that's wrong with your life is your father's fault? Yes, ma. Thank God it's not me! <laughs> Uh, why don't Danny and I connect? I mean, after Nadine was born, did he really want a son? No, he loved his girls. Um, how come you always dress me like a tomboy? I mean, there were pictures of me sitting on Daddy's lap. You'd swear I was a Katie Lang dummy. <laughs> Darling, you're grasping at straws there. Your father adored you. He just had trouble expressing himself, so he's a little distant. It's just his way. You know, children tend to idealize their parents when they're growing up. You know, they don't see that underneath this veneer, we're not sophisticated people. <laughs> well, meanwhile, Dr. Miller says that I'm attracted to men that always keep me at a distance because that's the way Daddy treated me. You know, your father always did his best. But he's not going to change. <laughs> you know, you should focus on changing yourself, not him. You know, Ma, you are absolutely right. Of course I'm right. <laughs> I gotta change myself! <laughs> As long as I'm living under the same roof with Mr. Sheffield, I am always going to feel this way. Naturally. What? <laughs> I gotta move out of that mansion and get on with my life. What life? You're two shakes away from being a cleaning lady. <laughs> Wish me luck, Ma. I'm gonna cut out my tongue. That's not what I meant. Alone. I have to talk to Mr. Sheffield. I am not moving from this spot. Come, Sylvia. We'll wait in the kitchen. <laughs> Look, Mr. Sheffield, I keep hoping that if I hang around here long enough, deep down inside, you're going to change. But I, I've come to realize that my father is never going to change, and I have to accept that in you, too. So, so what does this mean? That this arrangement is not going to work out anymore. Well, are, are you saying you're, you're quitting? Yeah. Yeah, we've been together for so many years, you still don't know what you want. I just think it's a healthier decision for me to no, make. Miss Fine, I understand how you're feeling. I really do, but I don't Mr. understand why Shaffield, you... Mr. Sheffield, Ganuga ready. It's too late. I've made up my mind. I have to do this. No, please, don't go, Miss Fine. M Miss Fine, come back. Fran, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. I, I, uh, I suppose I have kept you at arm's length. Uh, maybe it's because I have a genuine fear of intimacy. I, I don't know. I just do know that I... I don't want you to go. Fran? <laughs> Fran. Does this mean you're gonna start calling me Fran now all the time? Well, not in front of the children, of course. Well, how about Niles and Cece? Wow, well, that wouldn't be very professional. <laughs> what about Mark? It's fine. Ciao. Fran. Fran. <laughs> 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 